like to introduce you to about 4,000 native North American mason bees. They're here in our garden in Pennsylvania because we have provided them with a nice dry shelter. This is an old chicken feeder that we have hanging in a tree and plenty of these tubes in which they like to make their nests. Now, all these adult bees here, it's the winter, are sealed up in a mud tube and in each of these tubes there are six or seven adult mason bees that have been in this tube since last May or June. They will come out in early April when the fruit trees start to blossom and they are exceptionally good pollinators of blueberries, all kinds of fruit trees, apples, pears, plums, um, as well as raspberries and strawberries and any kind of vegetable and fruit you might want to grow. They are completely docile and harmless. Honeybees have a hive that's full of honey to defend from marauding bears and, um, and human beings after their honey. But these mason bees only live in the mud tube, and so they are non-aggressive and they do not sting. When the female bee lays her eggs in this tube and seals them off in, in compartments, um, she lays four or five female eggs in the back end of the tube because they are essential to the endurance of the species, to the survival, and just a couple of males on the outside of the tube. Um, the males come out first, um, look around for sources of pollen and food, and then come back and mate with the females. And after that, the females spend the rest of their lives um, getting pollen and food, getting mud, and filling up these tubes. Now I want to tell you about how to position um, these um, nest, nest boxes, mason bee houses, so you can attract the bees. First of all, although they come in a good, um, strong um, plastic housing, uh, you want to put them somewhere which is protected from direct rain. In other words, don't just stick this in the middle of a bush. It needs to be on the eaves, um, sheltered a bit, and it's good if it is facing southeast or south. One thing about the masons is that they come out very much earlier and in lower temperatures than honeybees do, um, so you want to give them a little, little, little morning sun to get them going so they can come out and, um, and pollinate. Um, another very good place to put them is up under the eaves of a shed or on the beams of a porch if you have something like that. And now is the time in the winter to order your bee houses and put them up so that when the first wild native bees are flying around in early April, they will find these wonderful tubes which will save them a lot of trouble and enable them to lay lots of eggs. Each female can lay up to 30 or 35 egg compartments, four or five of these tubes, and that is why your population of mason bees can quadruple or more every single year so that soon you will have 4,000 willing helpers to help you in your garden.